Magnetron, electromagnetic energy resonator frequency vibration. Why are you showing me this? Why are you showing me uh, what happens with water and sound and uh, everything else and light and all that stuff with the ancient structures we called uh, cathedrals, cathode, uh, temples, churches. Look, look, look. Do you see this? Let's see more photos. Oh, the, the power generators, even the, the stripes, you know, red with white or like black with white. Look, I see a certain device here. This reminds me of something. Mm, oh, uh, zoom magnetron do you see the ca uh, cathode in the middle do you see the cavities let's go back look magnetron and by the way uh yes many of these have been removed from inside the buildings we call oh energy power electromagnetic generators look at the stripes just like the power stations no yeah now we have the, the section, a cut magnetron, so you can see the cathode inside because there's still some places in this world left where you see these structures, but the cathode doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, in the middle of nowhere building and the, the cathode, something here in the middle has been removed. Um, the same happens with one of these structures I've seen in certain places and areas where you have like a place for people gathering and in the middle you have like this magnetron with this, the cathode in the middle. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, so what are the... Uh, political Roman and churches in what we call cathedrals in the world. Are they um, designed for the purpose of uh, electromagnetic uh, generation of power, also with sound and light, because everything is related, you know, once you understand also vibes of cosmos in the books and everything else. Look, uh, these flowers, magnetron at the cavities on the dome buildings and uh, magnetron everywhere. I see magnetron with cathodes everywhere so then again you see this is like the famous star you know so what are the the what's in the end the purpose of the three main religions as they call them you know we have like three main religions in the world um you know what they are so all this symbology in the end uh, the antennas crosses look this is so amazing so is this because let's let's see a photo that is gonna uh, melt my brain uh okay Okay, I see the buildings. What is the photo I want to see? Uh, so remember this this whole circular patterns, right? You see in the buildings, and oh, oh, I think my brain has melted, just like the melted buildings, the red brick. But you see, this these are not melted red brick buildings. They're something else. Therefore, we have many things at the same time. Let's go back. Ah, okay. Imagine I get this building when it's vibrating, it does boom, boom, sound, sound, just like a jukebox, like a music box, like a, like a box of boom, 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 vibration, boom. Yeah, we go with the vibration. Oh, look, we have more uh, perfect geometry and stars and everything else. So I guess a picture and a photo is worth more than a thousand words. And then you have the sound and the light. Do you know about acoustic? I've shown you like before when you put like a powder on a plate, on a metal plate, and then you put vibrations, and then you have all these designs and patterns of geometry being formed. Um, uh, the more frequency inherits, the more complex the design. The same happens with light and water. Uh, so the sound. So what's the purpose of the three main religions in the world? Uh, we call them religions, but is there something else to do with electricity? Now that we know about the black sun underneath and the electromagnetic dome, which by the way, it's not even a dome, it's like a sphere. That's where you have the cosmic egg mythology and that's why you have NASA showing you the sphere. But you have to study a bit of that. It's very easy once you see it. Um, it's super simple. I've actually shown it in previous videos. Now, uh, remember this pattern we have here everywhere in the world. The left is Italy and the right is Peru. It's awesome. It's just, and we have this is, they say, oh, they made this geometrical perfection because of ornament. Is it ornament or is it because of the vibration and frequency that has to be everything perfect so that the resonators function properly? Now, remember the cavity? Having cavity is very important because the glass in the building was added afterwards. And we say, why? You say, why? Well, you know why. You know why. Why would you add glass in something that doesn't need any glass because it has to resonate. Remember, cathode is negative and anode is positive. Therefore, the flux. Look, I see here two triangles. Now, how do you call it? There's two triangles, one on top of each other. Um, switch like, you know, you know this, this star, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So if everything has to do with electric and magnetic, now my brain is melting. Oh, I see. If I only see this, I do not understand. But if I see this, and I, I understand with electricity, infinite, uh, infinite energy, black sun magnetic spinning underneath, uh, the electromagnetic dome, which is actually a sphere, um, um, toroidal vortex, you know, the toroidal vortex, the electromagnetic field, magnetron, resonator. Uh, so if these buildings were resonating, 
uh, our human DNA cross section is the same pattern of complexity. Look, a cathode in the center. Now, I'm not sure if I have something to do with the DNA here. Look, so these buildings then, they resonate. And if my DNA resonates, but was it my DNA or was it the DNA of a different human species? Ah, electrically charged air, the air electri electricity in the air. It passes through a geometric pattern to achieve a certain result. The glass was not there. Of course it was not there because if you can have glass, you don't have any passage anymore. Now, so what is the purpose of all these buildings? What was the purpose? Mm. And the, 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 the antennas, of course you need antennas and towers if you, if you get the ether. Ah, this is the DNA stuff. You see, you see the pattern of the magnetron and then we have the oscillators and energy and the patterns in water and air and sound and everything else. Oh, yeah, this is like the pattern we see when you put powder on a metallic plate and you see with low frequencies all the way to very complex frequencies, very high frequencies. And then you have like this in, 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 in well, in certain devices like the multiple wave oscillator. Um, and then our DNA, hey, this is scientific. You take the human DNA, you have a cross section and you have like complex patterns, just like the ones you form with vibrational frequencies. So the DNA vibrates. So everything is electromagnetic and I am an electric, an, an electric being and 70% of my body is water, which is an electricity conductor by the ancients of my DNA. But then again, my DNA is not perfect. Oh, and the blood type. Oh, don't forget the giants. And don't forget um, the forbidden continents on the other side. You, you can't go in a straight line. Um, and don't forget the movies and the symbology. And don't forget the main religions because they're not religions. So they're not religions anymore. So these giant doors, are they meant for giant people? I know. You see, you never get bored with me, do you? Um, although... I never get bored with myself either. It's just like when I do too much in too much research and stuff, and uh, I t collect so many photos and stuff, and then I try to explain with a bit of humor so you don't fall asleep in front of your computer or your phone or your screen. Then that's when the moment I say, "What am I doing? I should just go out and 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 search for people to um, to flirt." Um, as in like, you know, you, you get my point. Anyway, uh, I, I hope you now understand design. Let's go back to the magnetron because you must love the magnetron. You see, you look at the magnetron, you look at the photos of the buildings and the church and the cathedra cathedrals and churches and temples and everywhere made by stone and by um, and the frequencies in water and air and, 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 and the powder on the metallic plate and the DNA. And uh, you remember Nikola Tesla and you remember the vibes of cosmos stuff from his books and you remember the black sun and the Germans and the acoustic levitation and electromagnetic levitation. It's not anti-gravity. The UFOs of the Germans were uh, levitating. And then you see this and then you see the buildings and uh, you start to collect the photos and the pictures and you have the demolished buildings and everything. And you say, well, all of these buildings existed in the world, but they started being demolished in the 1800s. So what humanity was there in the 1800s? <sighs> And that's when your brain melts and you make a pause and you say, Magnetron. Now, don't, don't confuse this with uh, what you see in the movie Transformers. I think they, they call it something else. Um, I'm, I got used to the word Magnetron now. Uh, yeah, magnetron, which comes from magnetic. And when you have a, a magnetic field and the electrons move, you have electricity. And that's voila. Now, let's applaud, let's applaud the ancient world. The ancient world, although it's not that ancient anymore. You see, at the same time, these not melted building with no bricks, with the melted red bricks and deserts, and then with the hexagon column bas bas basalt, which are the giant petrified trees and the giant people. See you next time.